What's up, everybody? Ruben Valsby here, coming to you from the Wells Knight Patreon server. Um, I wanted to wait to do anything on here until after the server reset had taken place, um, or excuse me, had taken place, but I wanted to give everybody a quick tour of my base on the server. So, I started out day one, just like everybody else at the spawn town. I started in July, a few days after the server reset had happened the last time. Um, and built my home right around the port of New Wellsington, where Night 13 was building. Um, and then I found out that everybody was going around and creating bases that were um, their own outside of town. So I hopped in a boat and rode and rode and rode until I ended up here. Um, this is my, my little area, which isn't so little. It's a little bit of a hodgepodge of stuff. Um, let me go inside real quick and sleep so that way I can kill off all these baddies. Go upstairs real quick. There are monsters nearby. Who? My base is all lit up. Is it a pigman? Hmm. Let me sort out the monster nearby situation. Give me one second here and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I am back and here is my my base on the Wells Knight server. Um, we have this smiley face here that Crafting Mantis did for us because apparently we smile a lot. I'm always very peppy, I guess. Um, I decided I wanted to build an ice castle as well. Um, so I had been working on that. Um, but I didn't want to do a whole bunch more with a server reset pending. Um, things have kind of come to a standstill. Um, but yeah, this is the living area for the ice castle downstairs. And then I haven't done anything upstairs. Um, let's go out here. And hop down. This is my village um, that I had started where the, the smaller houses on the server for, you know, my quote, village. I'm the mayor of this area. These are my people that I am mayor over. Um, again, kitchen, small little living areas. Because we're a poor outer suburb of the New Wellington community. Um, over here's our tree farm. This one piece of grass was placed by Crafting Mantis in January. Um... And then down here is where I actually rode into when I first landed here. I rode here. Um, landed here and decided I wanted to build up there. All of this grass was terraformed. Um, this was all stone and gravel. And I had to tear it all out and put the grass in. Here's the entrance to my base. We'll go in now. There we go. Here's the living room. Um, our kitchen where we cook up all our stuff. Oh, there's chicken in there. Excellent. And then upstairs used to just be the storage room, but that's gone now. So now it's another living area and a bedroom with a seating area. Um, and then that leads to a back deck that overlooks the ocean. And our giant nether portal. So I decided to be obscene. Um, let's go back in here. Here's a closet, some item frames with item frames in them. <laughs> um, my bow, which was about to die and I can't repair. Then if we go downstairs, real quick, we go into my storage area, um, where I have everything I could ever want. I was working initially to get everything turned this way from this orientation. Um, but like I said, with a server reset coming, I didn't want to go any further. There was no point because it would just be gone. Down here was going to be my work room. Um, so anything that we did, like we were working on a wand with a wandering nerd on the zoo. Um, we were writing books and everything like that. It's also where I would store my newspapers because I did the New Wellington Times. Um, and then this was a secret entrance to the pink room. 
which was going to be where I planned on putting all of my super valuable stuff, my diamonds and everything like that, but I didn't get any further on this. Um, and then there's a panic room with a quick escape in case anybody were to invade my base. I've used this a few times. Um, it's a hovel hold out through a cave, and we come up to a zombie who should not be in the panic room. There we go. Comes up these trap doors. This used to be covered. I'm not sure what happened here. I think I was trying to... Night 13 had taught me how to do a combination lock, but it goes out down here from our home to our stairway up to the home um, as a quick escape. Like I said, in case anybody were to invade. Um, like I said, this is all just lore for my area. Um, up here, again, we had our farms. We've got our back entrance. We've got our sugar cane farm. We have a custom like sitting area and observation deck with a willow tree that was custom made for me by Nevermo when they were still on the server. Here's my elytra launcher and my burn the witch stake that nerd created for me and my nether portal. My nether rack licking post. It's from the first day on the server. Um, up here. Sorry about that, guys. Um, up here is our enchanting house that we created where we go to enchant all of our stuff. Um, and it has an anvil and a crafting table, so that way we can do all in one in the enchanting house. And this, at one point in time, was a beautiful, glorious AFK fishing farm. And an enderman griefed me and stole a block, and I couldn't get it fixed. And when I finally found the fix for it, again, reset, gave up. Got all of this from it. And I got all of this from it. Ooh, smite for what everybody wants. And one fun thing about this, um, oh, and I have a chicken farm. Double doors because of the copious amounts of chickens in here. Look at them all. Just chilling, doing chicken stuff, popping out eggs. Ah, look at all those eggs. So I will never want for chicken in my life. Close that. And then this is how we get up to the ice castle. But through my nether portal, I'll show you guys my nether tunnel real quick. All right. So this is my nether tunnel that I created. I love, I love polished andesite. It's one of my favorite bricks. Um, but yeah, it's got my banner on it, and it comes through. It used to go through here, right here, if I were to break through here. I wonder if it's still there. Oh, I've still got just tons of eggs on me. Yep, it looks like it is still here. What's this? Another tunnel. That is Brizik's nether tunnel. He used to be on the server with us, but um, he's no longer a patron. So, um, they relocated how we did our nether tunnels here on the server, and I, um, both mine and Brizik's tunnel were walled off. So, I had a spot marked out for me, and I didn't realize it, but it come out there now, so that's why the tunnel is kind of oddly shaped and doesn't match on this end. I couldn't get it wide enough. Um, but we come out down here to what used to be Crafting Mantis's area, but she has since walled herself off. Um, but yeah, there's my banner showing that this is my entrance. And that is everything that we have on the Wells Knight server. I plan on starting a new series for this server once the reset happens. Um, it's all I'm waiting on is for that server reset to go through. At that point, I will then turn around and um, start on episode one, season three for the Wells Knight Patreon server. So yeah, if you guys like this, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you really liked it, please subscribe to me. I can use anybody I, I can get on here as so being a new YouTuber and everything like that. And I almost fell to my death. That would have been bad. Oh, before I go, let's do this. Okay, go down here. This is my mine. Go down to the bottom of it real quick. <coughs> Excuse me. I have all these boosts because... Crafty Mantis threw four beacons up at the top of my base. But my main attraction 
is my actual beacon that I built. Which I was kind of excited about because it's a combination of like a hodgepodge of gold and iron blocks. As you can see, I've done a lot of beacon mining down here. Oh, and apparently not enough beacon lighting. Where'd he go? And he apparently had thorns on his armor, so that's cool. Come on, die, y'all. Where'd that creeper go? He's over there. There we go. Perfect. All right. I'm going to go ahead and head out of the mine real quick. Oh, so much fun down here. So much time spent down here. Aside from the diamonds that I earned at the New Wellington Times and the ones graciously donated to me from Obscurum and Crafty Mantis and a wandering nerd who were rich early on in the server and like to make it rain and then say, oh, just keep them. <laughs> um, yeah, that's where I got a lot of my diamonds from. So yeah, I, um, I'm glad I could take you guys on the tour of the server. I can't wait to see where the next one ends us up at and what our items look like. But yeah, again, make sure you hit that like button. And if you liked it, please subscribe. I look forward to bringing you guys the new episodes from this server once the reset happens. This has been Rupin Bowsby, guys, and I'm out. Bye-bye.